Hey, what's going on guys? It's that big guy here again today and patch 6.2 is out. It came out yesterday. I haven't been playing it that much, but I started today and let's just say there's finally content for us to play. I'm excited to be playing World of Warcraft again. I was off and on playing Heroes of the Storm and some other games, but patch 6.2 has so much to do and it's going to keep me busy playing the game. Now there's so much, so much to put in this video and talk about my feelings, what's actually in the patch, and stuff that you probably already know, because it's been up for about two days now. So let's get to 6.2 basics. Patch 6.2 is much larger than uh, patch 6.1, with new raid zone, outdoor ex exploration, the shipyard, the shipyard unlocks the Nan jungle, which is an awesome zone so far. I like the feeling. Everything, it's a huge zone, level 100. There's mobs everywhere. It kind of feels like the Timeless Isle, but a lot more compact with like a foresty type jungle. And I really like the feeling of Tanan jungle. And there's so much to do, so many activities. There's so much room for activities, everybody. I'm really excited for this patch. Hopefully, hopefully Blizzard delivers on continuing content like this. As much as it's difficult them for some reason difficult for them to put out content but so far so good and they you know there's been leaks of the end cinematic for the hellfire citadel it was a leak in a, a chinese file folder or something for the asians and it looks pretty cool and then they finally released the english version which looks epic but it leaves a lot of questions on what's happening after this patch after hellfire citadel is over with First off, let's see, flying is coming to Draenor, which I am excited for. I'm glad they decided to bring it back. And the way they're bringing it back is they're doing it, you have to earn it. It's not just you go and buy it, no. Flying in Warlord to Draenor, it's not going to be in this patch, but a lot of the stuff that we will need to complete it is the three reputations that come into this patch. And you have to get to, I think, at least Revered. I am not sure. Uh, da -da 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 -da. But the pat or the achievement is called Pathfinder, which will allow you to acquire flying, and you will get a mount for it. There's also the, the legendary ring quest is still going on. There's a bunch of pets, bunch of uh, about 26 pets, 20 mounts, 18 toys. Now I'm not really big on the pets and toys, but I do like to collect them. You know, it's not like I go out of my way instead of playing content and stuff like that to go and collect these things. But they are fun. Mythic dungeons are n a new difficulty, thank god. Dungeons hopefully are relevant, and they're dropping pretty decent gear. Very excited for this. There are seven weekend bonus events, which will be the time walking events and stuff like that. Very excited for now. When I was in the PTR, a lot of the stuff, I, I stopped playing, the, I stopped going on the PTR trying to look for information and trying to do things because it was so, it was unreliable at the time because it scaled you down to level 50. I don't know if it's still doing that. There's a lot of crazy stuff. The Adventure Journal has a new front page, which looks pretty fancy. Whew, there's so much. There's so much room for activities. But as you can see in the video, I've already built my shipyard. I've already made my way through Tanan Jungle to build the outpost. I'm really excited because honestly, it's been so long since we've had some new interesting uh, content. The latch patch 6.1 was, <laughs> it, it kind of devastated me and a lot of other players. And then when Blizzard came out and said, you know, we're not gonna have no more flying anymore, the masses spoke and Blizzard <laughs> responded by saying, okay, we'll allow flying <laughs> in Warlord or Draenor and most likely other future content. So I'm really excited about that. Now, let's see, how long have we been talking for? We've been talking for about a good five minutes. I personally want to get back to playing because I'm still, I, I just built my outpost. I don't know what else is there to do. I explored most of the area when the PTR came out, which is a beautiful zone. So many NPCs, thank God I'm a rogue, I'll be able to stealth through most of it, but for all you non-stealthy people, I am very sorry because it will be a pain in the ass. Now guys, I would like to hear what you think about this patch. Now, is there really content? Is there no content? Is this, you know, what's going on with Blizzard? Now, me personally, I think there's plenty of content. And if you say there's no content, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, how long will this content last? I don't know. It could last about maybe two weeks. You know, there are some players that just stream roll through this content like it's nothing. Seriously, nothing. But I think that's all for this discussion video, guys. I'm really excited. Um, if you're a subscriber, I have a channel update coming in the next few days. I'm going to explain a couple stuff. 
But other than that, guys, jeez, uh, I can't talk today. But other than that, guys, that's all for this video. I'm going to go back to playing some Warlords Draenor and enjoy that nice, fresh content smell. And as always, guys, you stay classy. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a big old like and subscribe. And as always, guys, you stay classy. Hell hath no fury like a woman swarmed. Be quiet. I'm brooding. This card piece gives me tender loins. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of meat, boy? Well, good. I've got flank, shank, ribeye, brisket, take your pick.